Seoul, South Korea. The SUAM labs await the arrival of the samples from Siberia. Our colleagues are doing their best to really transport the samples to us as quickly as possible. In the meantime, they focus on the cloning of farm animals and, not without controversy, pet dogs for a price of $100,000 per clone. The process that we are doing is basically copying the genetics of the original so that we can give birth to a clone that has the same genetic makeup. They plan to clone the mammoth using the same process that they use for cloning dogs. To clone this beagle, they simply use a skin cell. It's painless and easy to remove, and its nucleus contains the DNA necessary to create a clone. They even add a genetic marker to help identify any clones that are born. They need to put the cell into an empty egg. So this is the step where we extract eggs out of the egg donor. In a harmless procedure, eggs are removed from a sedated mongrel dog. They're going to flush the medium through the oviduct, and then the eggs come out the other way. Our researcher is working with uh, the liquid that we just extracted from the oviduct of the domestic dog. And she's working with a very um, small mouth pipette. She can pick up the eggs among all the debris. Next, the nucleus of the dog egg is identified under ultraviolet light and removed. The nucleus would glow in blue. And then we just take out the nucleus and then replace it with a whole cell. The beagle skin cell is then inserted into the dog egg. You're removing the maternal side of the genes and then replacing it with a full genome from the skin cell. The egg is given an electric shock. This kickstarts cell division and it turns into an embryo which is inserted into the surrogate mother. Two months later, clone puppies are born. These two pups are exact copies of the original beagle, except for the proof that they're clones. They're fluorescent toenails, a result of the marker added to the cell earlier. As you can see on the paws, um, their nails are glowing in green right now. It's a visual marker that these are indeed clones. But using these techniques to create a mammoth embryo and then implanting it into the womb of an Asian elephant will be highly controversial. Many scientists have concerns about the ethics of the project. What are their intentions? What are they going to do if they're successful and they can clone a mammoth? Who is responsible for the mammoth that is produced? Is it them? Is it the wider world? Do we get a say in whether they're doing it in the first place? 